Namaste, Sacred Masters, and welcome to this pick a card session for your shadow work. We have the deck shuffle and three random cards from the Dark Mirror Oracle deck placed before you. If you want to purchase this deck, look for the link in the description box below. You can pause the video and take your time to see if any of these cards resonate with you, and then use the time code in order to jump to the card you choose. This is card 1, 2, and 3. Don't forget there are many more pick a card videos to choose from. You can find them in my playlist, Shadow Work Pick a Shadow Card, on my channel's main page. So don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell for more pick a card sessions. After you pick your card, I will explain what each card means in the book. Now, the book's description is poetic and can be confusing sometimes. But for the sake of sharing, I will read it out, then give you my interpretation of it. You will hear my interpretation when I remove my mask and speak with my normal voice. I will also give you a shadow prompt in order to get started on some shadow work based on the card you pick, together with Grabovia codes to help with your shadow work sessions, or sometimes a link to another video relating to the matter. Alright, let's get started. Pick a card and jump to the timestamp. The card you picked is I Won't Cry For You, and it's represented by the third quarter moon. It is illustrated with a beautiful woman with deep blue eyes shedding dry tears of blood, with her back to the light of the moon. She holds in her hand a drop-shaped vial full of blood as well, and she gestures forward as if offering it. The sentence that resonates with this card is, I gave you my last gift, I shed my last tear for you. It is a time not to let you free, but to let myself free. This card tells us that breaking up can only be done by two persons. One will do it earlier maybe, but sooner or later, the other will follow. One can afford to do it in words and actions. The other will probably only be able to do it inside her own heart. It's painful, it's definitely. It's hard. It's sometimes necessary. Breaking up is not just letting go of a person. You are letting go a part of yourself, of hopes and dreams and trust. You let go of feelings and memories. You let go of emptiness you felt and the connection you relied on to. Anger will help at the beginning, but the last part of the road can't be done by just anger. Closure comes when you dry up your tears. It is a gorgeous moment when you allow yourself to, frankly, don't give a damn about it. All that was past is not a credit or a debt. It is just suddenly no more than a gift. You can raise your chin. After all, tomorrow is another day. Breaking up is always hard. But sometimes even though we don't want to be with a person again, we have not let them go yet. Just because you don't want to talk or be with somebody doesn't mean they don't have real estate in your heart. Letting go is a very hard thing to do because we want to remember the good moments, or should I say, the moments that fit into our story about what love is. We all create stories and narratives on what we think love should be, and when someone coincidentally fits into that story, we fall in love. When we let go of these stories we create in our heads, we can begin to work fully on letting go. Your shadow prompt for this will be, which of my exes do I think about? It can be occasionally, or it could be often. Each time you think about someone, your subconscious is prompting you that there is still some letting go to do. If you want an in-depth video on letting go, click on the link above or in the description box below. Use the Grabovio code 9137195 to break the negative patterns of coming back to the past. If you want to know how to use Grabovio codes in your sessions for meditating or journaling, check out the link above or in the description box below. I hope this session gives you something to work on, pick up your shadow journals, and let's start finding our inner and true authentic self. I'll try to post more pick a card every week depending on my schedule, so that gives you some time to sit with your shadow prom and begin working on positive changes to a new life. If you found something new about yourself, don't forget to comment and share with others as well. 
This not only helps build courage and self-esteem, but it also encourages others that they are not alone. I'll see you in the next session. Namaste. The card you picked is Alone in the World. Represented by the third quarter moon, it is illustrated with a beautiful woman sitting naked on a precious bench under the morning light in a closed and silent court paved with stone laced by trees. Many blankets and drapes are around her in color red and white like discarded wings. The sentence relating to the card, I made my home a cloister my heart a chalice for the faintest breeze, and yet I stand alone. This card is about waiting for something to come back. When we parted ways, we promised each other, I will wait for you, and I will come back. We have used different words like, it's just for a few months, or a sharper pen like, I don't need you. Still, we are waiting. Mind has lost hope, body has lost memory but our heart is still incomplete. It is shrined into a blessed feeling of longing and desire, innocence and hope. But it is also entombed into a well of solitude and distance. It builds walls to stall the passage of time, and the walls kept out everything. Will the prince come? Or has the world gone silent while we waited? Waiting is a transition. It has a beginning, and it has an end. Waiting is the night. Morning brings the sun to a new day. Is there someone in your life that the absence of them makes you feel lonely? Whether it's an ex or a person that you wish to be with, oftentimes by placing them on the pedestal, it makes us feel more alone in our yearning for their company. Your shadow prompt should ask, what coping mechanisms have you been using to deal with being apart? You have to ask yourself whether you are feeling as though you are distracting yourself with outside stimulus or are you doing something to actually better yourself rather than wallow in this negative state. Realize that the story of you and that personal person is probably a personalized one and that it may be different for the other person. Find ways to heal and move on. If the person comes back, it is only to a new and improved version of you something that nobody can resist. If you truly desire your ex or someone back, you can use this Grabovio number 18080818 or the video posted above and description box below. If you want to know how to use Grabovio codes in your sessions for meditating or journaling, check out the link above or in the description box below. I hope this session gives you something to work on, pick up your shadow journals, and let's start finding our inner and true authentic self. I'll try to post more pick a card every week depending on my schedule so that gives you some time to sit with your shadow prom and begin working on positive changes to a new life. If you found something new about yourself, don't forget to comment and share with others as well. This not only helps build courage and self-esteem, but it also encourages others that they are not alone. I'll see you in the next session. Namaste. The card you picked is Artificial Heart and is represented by the New Moon Face. It is illustrated as a female figure, an android or a robot, with cyber lines traveling over the skin like gentle spiders, a black choker of feminine servitude, and jaded eyes of futuristic indifference. The sentence that resonates with this card is building oneself to specifications, stealing oneself to adversity, dreaming of electric sheep. Once upon a time, it was a time of flying monkeys. Someone journeyed to a place that was in Kansas in order to gain a heart. Oh, such a charming old-fashioned fairy tale. A new heart can be bought on the internet now and be delivered in a couple of days with a brand new shiny instruction manual. It works too. It gets the job done. It's not a job of feelings. It's scripted like a job of numbers. Actually, it feels like a trade-off. We find refuge in the rational mind, which in turn gives us back the illusion of control. But we still feel. 
we still long to live through our emotions fully. We are truly like an artificial knight that wants to become a real person. Happiness is not in numbers. But it's not because numbers are bad. It is because there is nothing that alone can grant happiness and then we blame this choice as the reason why our sky has no color. What if it's not actually connected? What if it's just an excuse? What if even an artificial heart can beat and fall in love and drown in sorrow? As poetic as this card sounds, it really means that we seek out happiness, our heart, through external means. Sometimes we find happiness is getting others to love us. Sometimes we find happiness in receiving a lot of money or buying our dream home or dream car. These are all external validations, and we must be careful not to place our happiness in the pursuit of external things. Real happiness is found within, not in the artificial heart, but in the real heart. When we chase happiness, there is something that needs to run. Don't make happiness a reward, but rather an emotion that is deserved. Practice looking inwards by asking yourself with this shadow problem, what can I do today that makes me happy that's not external? How can you treat yourself like a valued friend in a positive and honest way? When you are doing shadow work for this, use the Grabovia code 48704269 to help with activating your energies of happiness. If you want to know how to use Grabovia codes in your sessions for meditating or journaling, check out the link above or in the description box below. I hope this session gives you something to work on, pick up your shadow journals, and let's start finding our inner and true authentic self. I'll try to post more pick a card every week depending on my schedule, so that gives you some time to sit with your shadow prom and begin working on positive changes to a new life. If you found something new about yourself, don't forget to comment and share with others as well. This not only helps build courage and self-esteem, but it also encourages others that they are not alone. I'll see you in the next session. Namaste.